my beauties merry christmas okay you guys are thinking why i'm doing a new year's eve party look on christmas day well makeup is all about having fun who says you can't wear makeup any day so i thought to do this video and show you guys how to get that sparkle on your eyes as well as that twinkle in your eye <laughs> oh my god i'm so lame okay so without further ado let's go straight into the tutorial so as usual, let's start with a clean and moisturized face. First, prime those eyelids to make sure all that eyeshadow and glitter appear more vibrant and more importantly, stay on all night long. Apply a generous coat over your eyelids and I'm just using my fingers to blend it out. Also, don't forget the bottom lash line as well to prevent any smudging. Now we can move on to eyeshadows. I'm going to use this Carity palette. These colors are super pigmented and full of neutral colors I love. Starting with a highlight color Tiffany, apply it to the brow bone and the inner corners. Then using the color Newborn, apply that to the whole mobile eyelid, right up to the crease. This creates a nice base. And then using the metallic color Decadence, I'm going to apply it onto the lid area with a pencil brush, focusing on getting the outer corners. This does not have to be super neat because we are going back in with a blending brush with the color Sunkissed and gently blend away the harsh lines. Now using a smaller eyeshadow brush and using a darker color from the palette, it's called Persephone, I'm going to enhance the outer corners to create that outer V and run that same color along the lash line, both top and bottom. Now I'm going to apply some hydrating eye primer to the under eye area to avoid creases and the hourglass mineral veil to prime the face. Then going in with the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation and a couple of drops of the Cover FX in Moonlight, mix up this concoction and apply it to the whole face. Quickly blend everything out before the foundation sets and look at that inner glow. Okay, let's fill in these sad brows. You guys know I love my fine point brow pencils. This one is by L'Oreal and I just fill them in with my usual shape and then brush out any excess with the spoolie on the other side. Brows make such a difference to the face. I finally feel normal with brows on. Moving on to concealer. This shape tape from Tarte is a game changer. Let's draw on my usual tribal war stripes to go to battle with my dark circles. Oh my God, I'm so lame. Let's just blend the concealer in and honestly, this does not move. Just set everything with a powder and this Wonder 2 Perfect Selfie Powder will make sure you don't go shiny all night long. Now it's time to put some dimension in the face. You guys know how heavy handed I can be with contour, but this year, let's slowly build it up to create that more natural contour look. This Burberry powder is way too dark for me, so I like to use it as a contour instead. Slowly and light-handedly, I carve out some cheekbones. I like to go a little higher these days. It actually makes the face look more lifted. The jawline is a must and the hairline to cover my bold spots. Nose contour is a must and the key is to blend all the way up to the eyes and all the way down to the nostrils. Now, apply some blush on top of the contour, almost where you normally put your highlighter. This gives you a more youthful look. Now let's finish off the eyes. Using the Wonder 2 waterproof eyeliner in black, line the upper waterline to thicken the lash line. And then I like to use this Shu Uramura eyeliner to draw my usual cat eye wing. I just like how creamy this eyeliner is and I love the color purple. Once the line is done, I'm going to curl my tiny lashes with the trusty Shu Uramura curler. Remember to curl them slowly, angling your curler upwards to give that more natural curl. Using waterproof mascara is a must and just go to town with it. For me, I definitely need the help with some falsies. I have been loving these faux minx one from Ardell. Bam, see the difference? Okay, time for glitter. Apply the Stila Diamond Dust to the lower lash line starting from the inner corners and go about three quarters of the way. Then using the Glitter Jelly by Wonder 2, I want to highlight the eyeballs. This part can be tricky. You can control the amount of glitter you want. You can have minimal or bling, 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 just like this. It's also good to put a little bit on the bottom outer corners to make the glitter flow through the look. And now the eyes are done. Look at that sparkle. But wait, there's more. Your lips can also glitter too with Ciate's Glitter Flip in Infamous. This is definitely my favorite color. Apply it directly onto lips and you can just wear it like this or wait for it to dry. While that's drying, let's get this hair 
party ready. Some natural curls to create some volume is always my preference. Also, you can dance the night away with your hair down and swaying around. Just remember to use some hairspray to hold the curls in longer. And now we are almost ready. Let's see some glitter flipping action. Once a lip gloss is dry, press your lips together and BAM! Your lips will be glistening throughout the night. I love how subtle and wearable this is. You can also add some clear gloss on top for that extra glow. I'm gonna finish this look with some holographic enhancer drops on top of the cheeks, right underneath the eyes, the bridge of the nose, and the cupid's bow. Now I am glowing from all angles. Makeup is all about having fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave your comments down below. And also tell me, what did you do for Christmas? What are your plans for New Year's? Because I would love to know. And you can always follow me on my social medias so you can see what I'm up to in New York. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.